Welcome back aboard Afternoons Live on KFIV, 1360 AM Modesto, KWSX 1280 AM Stockton, all around the world via the World Wide Web. We cover California and the entire planet via the You know our AM signal's actually been picked up in Norway, too. We're pretty proud of that. You can join us today at KFIV1360.com, or you can call in 551-3483. 866-770-5556. Send us an email, Dave Diamond Show at clearchannel.com. Become a fan on Facebook. You can post directly to the Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you today because we're about to talk. We're about we're gonna blow this thing up now. We're gonna talk state politics. Last night the GOP had their I'd call it a debate, but it was more of a snooze fest to, from what I can read about the thing. Uh, John Villarreal from Conservative New Media. If you've not checked out Conservative New Media on YouTube. This is exciting. This is uh, this is a. I don't even know how to describe it. It's an extravaganza of conservatism, and it's it's basically some place people can go to learn all about the issues, to check out the candidates, to check out interviews. You're never going to see anywhere else the kind of excitement and intensity and the questions that we ask. I mean, with so many of these people, whether it's Steve Poisner or Carly Fiorina or whatever, after we interview them, they're like, "Wow, that was like amazing and stuff." But we do it in a way that the average person can understand and say, "Hey, you know what? I understand this now. We're cutting through the BS. We're cutting through the propaganda to get people the real answers. That's what we want to do." That's the question I would have asked. It's, it's kind of the approach I take. I, I've watched so many of the videos and I'm going, hey, I wanted to ask that question. And I kind of get, yeah, I, I was inter you have the one with Meg Whitman right now. Where right. You, we actually walk up there and it's like a dinner party or something. Yeah. And you shove the camera right. Yeah. Face it. Meg, what about? And you ask her a specific question, how are you going to do this? And I, she still doesn't answer the question. Right. As far as I can tell, she, right. she drones on for a minute, minute and a half and still doesn't answer the question. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Basically, like I was going to the California Republican Party uh, convention and you know we got there when the banquet was 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 over i was looking for some friends whatever like that uh this was on friday night and we're it's just kind of late and i see this whole gaggle of like reporters and stuff i'm like hmm who the heck's up there and i don't even know who it is so i just roll up there with my cnm camera and i'm like boom dude you know what i mean i'm like the gonzo journalist and i'm like oh okay i'll just pop in here and ask a question and we just blew it up and people were like oh what's up and then we got her on camera and it was it was pretty good but like you said i mean you know, the thing is, what I see, and we're going to get so deep into this, and I, I want to hear from the callers out there and the listeners, your audience, of what they think about this race, and we're going to handle it. But basically, like, Meg is extremely impressive, very smart, very capable woman, a lot sort of bigger, so she's got a really, you know, strong presence and stuff. And, you know, she's she really knows how to handle herself, but she definitely very carefully kind of sidesteps and evades and gives the platitudes and, and, and that kind of stuff where we'd love to see a little bit more specifics. I'm not saying she doesn't give any specifics. I mean, I really was impressed with her, but, you know, we, we, you just don't... As a conservative, and I know you're a conservative and almost a libertarian, I'm, a, I'm almost a libertarian myself, you just don't feel 100% comfortable that she's in your corner yet. So we'll see. Well, she's released, uh, Sacramento Bee is reporting this afternoon, that she's released today her specifics. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but they're excited about the fact that she's released her specifics. Let's start on the other side of this, though. I yeah. mean, Meg's got all the bucks. She's got the, the name recognition, the whole eBay thing. Uh, Steve Poisoner. Right. I've interviewed Steve in here, yeah. the insurance commissioner. I've interviewed him in here. Quite frankly, when he walked out of here, I felt like I had just spent an hour trying to get an answer out of a jellyfish. Really? I, just the only phrase I can come up with is he has mixed feelings about his own ambivalence. He's, <laughs> he's that unsure. He's like trying to convince me that he's a conservative, and I'm still not. Now we find out that, you know, six years ago, he got a 100% rating from Planned Parenthood. Right. He's given lots of money to Al Gore's campaign. Right. And yet the RCA says, well, now he's a conservative and we endorse him. But I have not seen anything. I, I, okay, let's say he's changed his position. Great. Right. Why have you changed your position? And nobody's asking that question. What's changed with Steve Poisoner from 2004 to 2010 that I should believe you that you're really a conservative now? Right, I understand that. First of all, I want to say it's great to be here. I love this huge American flag. I love the webcam. I love the whole thing of KFIV. I mean, I'm so excited about that. I think that look, both of Meg Whitman and Steve Poisoner come from Silicon Valley. And having, you know, myself worked at a law firm in Silicon Valley, Wilson Sun, seeing the Gertrude Rosati, and then being a venture capitalist, and then doing the iBanking and working with different uh, startups and whatnot, and advising companies for over a decade, it's like, I know that culture. And it's a very um, aggressive uh, meritocracy, and, you know, the, the, but it's also very, very liberal. And so it's a lot of it is every day, 
stick your finger up in the wind, which way is the money winds blowing, right? Which way is the popular things blowing? So Al Gore's like a rock star over there, you know what I mean? And it's not well, even... Well, he would have been back then. Well, yeah. No, I, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, and, these, and the big VCs love them, and the tech companies love them, and, and a lot of it is, is being liberal in the Bay Area, and a lot of it is just like... Hey, this is what's cool. This is what's new, and it's progress. But it's not—it's not even like progressive type progress. It's just you know the whole technology thing. So I, 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 what I'm saying is I'm not saying that they both weren't uh, left and, and and maybe a little bit more liberal than we would like to see. But I think a lot of it is—it's almost like um, it's almost like being in Hollywood. They say you know Silicon Valley is like is like Hollywood for technologists and, and, and venture capitalists. It's it's like. Hey, you know, today we're all for Darfur. D does Lindsay Lohan really know where Darfur is? <laughs> Lindsay Lohan? No. No, that's what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that Meg Whitman and Steve Poizner aren't extremely, extremely <laughs> smart and brilliant and, ha and, and know what's going on. But I, I'm saying a lot of it is kind of yeah. go along to get along. Yeah, it's a little fluff. You know what I'm saying? You have to be smart. I mean, she's run eBay. which is Oh, um, gosh. And Steve's the insurance commissioner, which is... Let's face it; that's a complicated issue right. around here. But and he was a silicon and he was a Silicon Valley executive. He's made a lot of money. I mean, they both have been very, very successful. Well, I'm just saying, I don't put, I don't, I know they're both hitting each other like, oh, this one gave to Barbara Boxer, and this one was was on a boat with Al Gore or whatever, whatever. And I'm not saying that that they weren't there then, but I just don't put a lot into it. But to answer your question directly about Steve Poizner, I, I mean, I don't know what he did when he came in here, but when I've met with him, and I will say this in full disclosure. You know, I, I know um, people on his campaign, and, and they've talked about hiring CNM to roll out a whole series of ads. I think he was extremely blown away with the video that we did for him. Very, very happy. Every time I've met him, I found him to be really, really cool. I find him to be very personable. I find him to, you know, be a conservative, at least today. And, and ultimately, that's what it is, right? It's, it's not where anyone was. It's what they're going to okay. do now. Okay, but how do you... There, there's an old saying in the intelligence business that... Once a traitor, always a traitor. So, really, without, to me, without that explanation, why today are you a conservative? And I, and I haven't seen anything from his campaign saying, okay, I was, a, I was for government funding of abortion, but then I had a child, then I saw this, that this happened. I, I have no explanation for why today he's a conservative when I know six years ago he wasn't. And that's what's bugging me. We're talking with John Villarreal. He's from Conservative New Media. You want to join us? 551-3483-866-770-5556 on the web, kfiv1360.com. Meg Whitman's points are out. I'll print these out during the break, and we can kind of go through those as well. But in the meantime, it's quarter after. Here's Kai with news. And maybe I'm just being a harpy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust it. Well, I really don't. What are we going to do? Know, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the trade. I mean, because brown is scary. I'll start heating it up. <laughs> Wait, a little more. Because I, I just think that, like, look, Steve's obviously trying to be the conservative, but he's gone more conservative than Meg. The LA Times article was saying that in the debate and stuff like that, too. Meg is Mrs. Corporate. She's trying to become a little bit more soft and friendly. Um, you know what I mean? But the thing with the abortion thing is just, nothing's going to change for California. Right. So, well, that's what it is. All right, here's Meg's new points. I should read these down here, that way. Yeah, I should react to it. John is a, uh, I suppose, what He's a media. Yeah. He runs a media. He runs a news channel. But it's on Yahoo or uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Says that so far this year, more than 21,000 users have already received. He used to trade half of Yep, yep. And that help companies buy and sell other companies, raise money, and grow, kind of the high tech thing. We just became a full YouTube partner on Friday. I'm stoked. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be. Yeah. A lot of people, we, we blew doors with the CRP, and people would love it. That's what I heard. Uh, people sent it to me. Have you seen this yet? Yeah, I have. See? Were you listening when I had him on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you wonder. I know. I guess. Uh, well, who do you like in this whole thing? I mean, you know, I like. I guess I like Steve because he is conservative right. now, but I just, there's just a part of me that just doesn't trust him. Well, like Mitt Romney. Well, he's a real conservative. Mitt Romney's been everything. Discount plumbing is a lot. And they have a helicopter. I always say this all votes are compromises. Right. They, they, they just don't. They are. Yeah, I guess more than anything, I'm voting. Well, that's it. That's the whole thing right there. Okay. You know.